So if some of y'all didn't know, CJ So Cool went to the 2K23 launch event in California. While he was at the event, as you can see here, he did do interviews with a few people. Now, I don't know if he's going to have a character in the game or he's going to have some part in this game, maybe. And maybe that's why he was doing interviews. But y'all let me know if you've heard anything about him getting a character or something about him in this game. Let me know down below. Now, I do have the audio for this video and I will be showing that to you next. But it seemed like it was very hard to hear. It was so much going on that there was so much noise and he was speaking into a microphone as you can see with the multiple people that he spoke to. They had a microphone attached to their phone so obviously they could hear him but whoever recording CJ, it was very hard. So after the interviews, CJ went and met a lot of celebrities. And of course, he did what he does best by taking a whole bunch of pictures of everybody that he met. He even took a picture, and you'll see it in a little bit, of Chris Brown, the back of him. <laughs> I guess he couldn't get a picture standing next to him. So he thought the next best thing was just to take a picture and tag him in his Instagram. Now, yes, I have heard that some people are speculating that CJ and Ruby Rose actually went on a date. Or they were actually in the same place together when she went to her hotel and he went to his hotel. They also are seen both in California and at the same event. So I don't know if they actually went together, but maybe they actually did go on a date or just talked. So CJ just continued to take pictures of a lot of people he was meeting. And it just made me think if him and royalty were still together, would he have taken her to this event or would he have just went by himself as he did right now? It makes me wonder because she did get upset with him about him leaving in the morning and not even telling her that he was leaving and he went to an event so so the next thing you're going to see is Lil Wayne actually performed at this event so here it is right here <laughs> Bird was level, level 10. I said, oh, the drone was supposed to be right 
Oh, they they slacking. Uh, Damn, it's flying through without crashing. Ain't no way, bro. Oh, Damn it, Booker. Hey. That put a car in the sky. First man with a flying car. Oh, boy, D. Booker out here killing it. Do y'all think he would have actually taken royalty to this event? I think he's pretty sneaky and he likes to do his stuff without her finding out, but then likes to blame her when she finds out because she looks through his phone or his iCloud or whatever she does. He probably would not have taken her, but let me know your thoughts. Bro, oh, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Call it who? Yeah. Yeah, that part. Yeah. Vibe Magazine on Instagram actually posted CJ on their story and it said CJ So Cool is serious about his NBA 2K. So overall, it looked like CJ had a good time, and I guess maybe this is what CJ was talking about in his video, and what him and D-Lo were talking about in their video together, when they were saying some things are coming, things are changing, and he's starting to do more things and network. So maybe this is just one of the things that he was talking about. So speaking of royalty, I don't know if you guys saw my last video, but CJ was complaining that she would not let him see the kids, not let him speak to them even over the phone. So he did get on his Instagram today and let everybody know that yes, royalty did let him talk to the kids finally. And he actually thanked her on his Instagram story and, and that is right here. So there were a lot of people saying that royalty was wrong for not allowing CJ to speak to the twins. But then there were also a lot of people saying that he shouldn't be speaking to the twins because he didn't really care about them when they were there. He just put a camera in their face and didn't really take care of them like royalty did. So now that we know that she did allow him to speak to the twins, what are your thoughts now? Did she do the right thing or did she not have to do that? Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section.